Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Swissing Technology. So today, um, we're going to be talking about CSS file. So we have talking about we have talked about the um, inline. Uh, we have talked about the um, block, and now we are going over to what is called the external CSS files. So write a HTML page that display a header footer by using CSS files, same as one dash index dot html also um you must use the header and footer tags um no outline or no inline styling you must have three css files inside a css folder which we are going to be accessing right away so um now i'm going to i'm going to put a plus sign here so this one i'm going to call it um whatever name that was given there so i don't know the name so let me go ahead and check that so these two index.html so that's what it's called so i'm just going to go over and create that file there and now we are good to go so we have that so just like index whatever we have here so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy all of this code we have here and paste it here but this time around we are not talking about this block css this we're not talking about this so i'm just gonna um okay i'm just gonna x that out of this and uh for time's sake i'm gonna place it somewhere here so that i'll be able to copy and paste it so this won't take long so what they want us to um, know actually in this uh, stuff here, they want us to be able to link external CSS. So now that we have three HTML files, I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call the folder style. So if you look at this, we have a folder called styles, I mean, not style, sorry, styles. So I'm just going to go over there. And sorry, let me rename this rename to styles like this, and we are good to go. Now you can see that this folder is actually empty. There's nothing in there. So, um, due to the fact that there is nothing in there, I'm gonna be creating a sub files inside the CSS file inside the file I just created. So the first CSS file I'll be creating is known as to common.css so i'm just going to copy that right away and i'm going to create that in here to common.css i paste it there and i'm also going to create another one uh, i don't know the name to header.css i'm just going to copy that and i'm going to create that there that's it settled and finally we have two footer dot css so i'm just going to hit the plus sign there and i'm going to go so we have uh three css file common dot css footer dot css and header dot css now we are good to go now under the common dot css we are going to is have to do with the global styling that is the body styling so we are going to be styling the body anywhere we have body it's going to be styled so i'm just going to copy whatever we have here we don't need this file whatever we have here from here and we can put it here like this so that have settled for the body now we don't have any issue with the body and we go again for the header i'm coming for, for where we have header here i'm going to copy all of my header here and come to this place and i'm going to paste it there that settles for the header and finally the footer i was going to copy the css for the footer exit and come to where the footer is and paste it there so we have three files css files and we have this so i don't need the style element again so i'm going to get rid of that good now in this I i'm just going to run that to see what we got so to be able to run that so permit me to copy 
the path here and run so I'm gonna come to this and paste the new part I have just copied so I'm just gonna hit enter and actually there is nothing here except this text best school why because our CSS is dot imported so we need to import those CSS into our code to so we'll go to where our head is after the head part then with in between the head opening and closing element of the head we are going to put the remaining uh, the importing of those CSS file so to import CSS file we use an uh, uh, a HTML element that does not have a closing tag known as link so link does the magic of importing external CSS to our code so let's do that link so you can see our link has a rel let's look at what it does this attribute name a relationship of the link document to the current document the attribute must be a space separator list of link type value so this actually tells that this link is for a style sheet and here is where we are going to assess the link the um, we are going to get the location of that file now you can see that all of these are on the same folder which is web static with our style folder our zero index one index and two index all of them are on the same um, folder so we want to this is the file we're actually dealing with so from this file we want to assess styles so i'll just come to this and put styles styles then i put slash now we have the three things we can assess here which i like the suggestion it gives me the three suggestion which among these that i want to choose some i'm going to choose the common so I'm just going to copy this and paste multiple times and change the first stuff we have there. I'm going to, to do that, you just press Ctrl C, V, and V. Like that. And that is copied. And the next one we want to change there is the, I think, the head. So let me put 2 dash head. Or let me put the style. Yeah. Head and finally the footer. Footer. Now that we have imported these three CSS, we are good to go. So uh, I just want to give space so you see the clarity of the code. Now, if we go and run this, we should see everything displayed as it ought to be. So you can see that this has settled the case. We import external CSS. So we have talked about three SC and CSS um, importing so far: the inline, the um, block, and the um, um, external CSS. So which we have all sorted out. Please, if you know that you enjoy this and you want to support me, please don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and share. God bless you. Have a nice day.